so i want to create a rope uh, probably a golden rope here which is ever increasing in size uh, something like this in an example which is in front of you uh, now this can be a regular rope of ours or a this can be a golden rope like or golden metallic rope like which is kind of giving us a, this growth like structure here so uh, let's see how we can uh, do this let's start fresh so now i want to start uh, by saying that i can use a solver here okay i'll be using a solver which is called as soft solver uh, and along with the solver i'll be also using the particle solver okay. so let's see how this can be set up so i'll start by taking a geometry node dive into it and then take a line of course and the whole idea here is to uh take the points on the line and then have them ever increasing in a size uh the major node here will be the resample node okay, so i'll be using a resample node to like increase the points on this line and at the same time i'll be using uh particle solver to emit line from the solver itself and of course uh, the sop solver will do the rest of the work of increasing the length of the line by uh, in over time so that it continuously does so at every frame okay so line and of course i'll be using pop, pop network for it connect to the pop network dive into the pop network and i will already see some points in there there are some points which are there um i will need to specify uh, that uh, the emission type will not be scattered onto the surface that i i don't want to scatter the points as such on the surface but i want to use the geometry okay the geometry in the sense the line as the emission factor here so i'll be choosing all geometry and of course it's the first context because it's being connected in the first context uh and the uh, let's uh, use a force here that is pop force just to see what exactly is happening just use a pop force just increase the amplitude or the strength of the force let's check yeah there it is so these uh, what is it doing it's emitting it as a geometry as i told you it's emitting the lines but i don't want uh the lines to be emitting at every frame i just want one single line to be emitting at the frame and then it should stop so for that what i will do is just jump into the source here so that is the source first input and go to the birth attribute where the impulse impulse activation is one at every frame so it's actually emitting uh one emission uh at every frame what i'll do is i can animate this as if at frame one it's uh activated and then at frames z at frame 2 it will be zeroed out so it's just one which will be emitting okay but i'll do that with an expression here that is dollar f is equal to 1 okay 
and then just say it. So if I check it, it's just one which is getting emitted. And after frame one, it's just stopping. <clears throat> just turn, uh, take the prop force a little smaller. Good enough. Okay. That one single geometry, uh, which is uh, which is a uh, a particle, is right now emitting. Okay, at just frame one. Next is, I'll need a solver, of course. Okay, so it will be. I'll take it will be soft solver. Okay, and I'll also need a multi. A multi solver because we are of course working with the multiple solvers here. That is the pop solver is uh, uh, working, uh, and I'll also need also be using the soft solver a lot. Okay. So it's it's kind of multiple solvers working together. Uh, so I'll just be connecting my soft solver. Okay. Okay. Fine. So uh, with that done. I will dive into the soft solver and the whole idea is uh, here is as I told you I will be continuously resampling the points here okay which will at every frame should compute the values of the resampling which is happening okay so for that I will be taking resampling it. I make it to the top geometry connected to the job geometry, uh, geometry in the resample. I'll keep everything to default. No need to do anything. Let's jump out. Let's just check it. Yeah, there it is. So you can see the points actually being continuously. resampling at every frame so initially there are just uh, 10 here but if you check it's continuously being resampled right move my slider yep let's turn on the real time that is Okay, just to keep it in uh, a confined uh, state, I will also use a pop uh, track. The pop track. Just give it a resistance of one will be good enough, I suppose. Which will just do something like this. Let's turn this off. Okay, fine. So with that done, let me actually uh, let because I want to render it. Of course, I will be using polywire. Let's connect this polywire. See. This. One more thing is uh, let the wire radius be so much. Okay. Turn out, take the divisions a little higher. Can you give me a rounder surface to work with. Yeah. Okay, now I'll just give it a you know, very quick materials for this. So, I'm going to the shop. 
Это... Let's assign the principal shader from here. I'll also put in Makara node. Let's get into the object context. Select the ge geometry. Go to the rendering and assign um, the principal shader to it. Yes. Here. We use we also use an environmental light uh, from which I can bring my HDRF. So let's bring the HDRF. I think I'll use something from the list here. No, no, let's use this. Fine. Now, uh, in the material, I'll try to give it a kind of a goldenish look. This and then change its metallic properties. Bring in this. Probably we'll have to also cache it. Right now it's uh, okay, probably cache it and render it. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so that's what I wanted to show you uh, with the soft node on resampling. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.